Hey everybody, it's Too High Fatness here. Talk to you about uh, DIY deep water culture DWC system. Uh, if you're following my channel, you'll see that I have a uh, 20 to 25 gallon style coming up soon. I'm waiting for plants to germinate so I can put it into it. Um, but I want to show you some quick ideas you can do to do a smaller version at home for very cheap and very easy. You can see I got this pot here. This one's 79 cents. This one was 30 cents. And then I have Rockwell Cubes. That is an old pasta sauce container. Um, I think it's a liter and a half or something like that. And that is peanut butter container. The only way I don't want you to do the peanut butter one is if you're allergic to peanuts. The hardest part to do this project one here is washing the peanut butter out of the stupid thing. But I'll show you the easiest one quick first. And it's this pasta one. You take the lid off and you see it's metal. I'm not going to cut that. I'm not going to do anything with that. Pop it out. Look at that. That basket sits. That basket's tight. Yeah, you move it over a little bit of gap, but you have that sitting in there. It sits perfect. Now you put your rock wool cube in there with your plant. Put the lid back on. Your roots hang down. It'll drink the water as much as it needs. Don't go crazy with nutrients, uh, that stuff will get stale after a while, so just put some water with a little bit less nutrients in there. You can do a wick style with a string or a rope or whatever going down from the center and have a more of a solid pot up here if you wanted to, but this is just the way you can do it and then uh, get crafty. You know, put a pitcher around it or take some string and glue it all the way around to make it look fancy because you don't want light penetrating at the roots. The next one is the peanut butter one. That's a pretty big pot. You don't have to get this big of one, but if you do, you can put four rock wool cubes into there. So that's four separate plants you could be growing out of there that would like this system. You're gonna have to do research and find out what roots like to be in water, but as it drinks it, it adds an air gap in there so your roots will grow their roots as well. So that's why the system works pretty cool. What I did for the lid was, I cut it open with, uh, I used a drill, and I used a razor blade. What I did was I took a measuring tape, measured from the inside of this pot, and it was three and a half inches, and it says it right on here, three and a half inches. You want to leave a little bit of a lip to grab on there. So what I did was, I took the drill, I measured three and a half inches from the outside of the drill bit, did another one here, and then I got, oh, well, you don't really need to keep measuring. You can see it was fairly close. So I just drilled a bunch of holes. Took the razor blade, you cut halfway from one hole, turn it around, cut halfway from the other hole. Because you're never going to curve that properly with the razor blade. And you don't need that blade out eight feet either, just to cut through this little lid. So once you had it cut, it kind of makes like, you know, a weird angle or whatever. But you go back and you trim off little slivers. It's a lot easier than trying to cut this whole thing in a circle. So take your time and trim it smart. Don't go hard and push real hard through it. You're going to wreck it and you're going to cut yourself. And I definitely don't want to be at fault for that because you guys watched this video and went and did something stupid. So just pay attention do it right. But once you got that lid on there, put that in. Works pretty good. It will sit down a little bit tighter. It doesn't matter. It just, you don't want a bunch of sunlight to get through there. That's why you want to maybe find something like this because the light's not going to penetrate it. And it's a lot easier than trying to wrap this with something. So if you don't want to go and buy these pots, which are fairly cheap, but you never know where you live, you might not be able to find them or you don't want to go search in the store for an hour just to find something small like this. Try using a... Uh, they're little tiny planter pots that you get like they do have little holes in them so you could drill holes for like so that the roots can go through like that or you could maybe just put the wick system you know a little bit of a foam pad or something at the bottom here with your wick going through and then your plant with on top it'll eventually absorb the water the way it needs to so those are a couple of quick tips and ways you can do this at home um if a high fat guy can think of it you should be able to too so try it out you can put this on a windowsill or on your desk underneath the light and grow something, eat it. Whatever you want, try, figure it out. Just do some research and see what will work best for the system. Um, if you like this, hit that thumbs up, subscribe, share, talk about it. 
tell somebody and say, hey, I've seen this guy on the line. He did it with this. Why can't we? Let's try it. Make some vegetables at home instead of buying that crap from the store. I live in the middle of Saskatchewan. By the time the vegetables get here and get in the middle of Canada, there's no nutritional value left to it. So get that value from the plant straight source. No more buying vitamins and all sorts of crap when you can actually just have fresh food and vegetables and we won't have these health issues that we do. All right, thanks everybody. Have a good one.